final lap here in Malbachem in the exact cross seam. Ooh, oh, no, goes down. East of it goes down. Van Turenau makes it through. Oh, Ron Haar goes down and goes down heavy. Yeah, it just looked like he lost the front end on that fast left as they dropped down that banking. It looks like he's gone down really, really hard. Thoroughly disappointed. The race is over for Ron Haar in terms of the win. And we're left with right now the two Pal Salzen riders and Orts making his way into third position now. Oh, understandably crestfallen Pim Ronha. The battle for the win and the podium, though, and you can see just how gutted Pim Ronha is, and understandably so. It is the battle between two former winners, Michael Van Turenau in 2016 and 2023. Ellie Isabet in 2020. Niels Van Der Putter comes round Felipe Orts here. It is still on. Oh, what a shame for Ron Haar. you got to feel for him, haven't you? But that is cross. We said earlier on the speed and the speed limit of this course was just being pushed to the absolute minutest of details. When the race is this fast, even the most simple of corners in the end, just, yeah, as I say, went down. And just as the bike compresses at the bottom of that hill, all the weight goes through those tubular tyres and that front just washed away from him. No chance to save it at the speed these guys are racing around this course. And it's so fast and just these small technical sections can catch you out. And yeah, with the speed being so high, that's almost race over for Ron Hart. And to put now, can he come across this gap? Can he get back in there? Van der Haar knows he's got to save the day for Pal Sals and Bingo. Van der Haar's got to find something else and, and just ride the wheel here of Felipe Orts to try and get back to the two leaders, the two Pal Sals and Bingo riders. Jürgen Metapenegam will be happy with this one if he can go one, two on the podium. But can the man with the silky smooth skills from Alperson to Koenig in the blue get himself back into the mix and snatch this one from Pal Sauz? And Van der Haar is digging deeper, digging the deep as we know Van der Haar can do to try and get back in here. Look at this desperation chase from Lars Van der Haar. I think Van der Haar is just like... I've got to do this now for the team. I bet he couldn't believe it when he came round the corner to see Ron Haar on the deck. And now he knows it's all down to him to try and grab potentially the final podium spot for his team. What a race. Blisteringly quick this race here in Mount Chem has been. It, Niels van der Putter, it's a tall order to close that sort of gap back up to Ailey Isabit and Michael van Turen out. It's been another monster day out for the Spanish champion behind. These two will just press on here and then it will just become a fight between the two teammates. But Niels van der Putter, you can see the wheels of the Alperson de Koenig man just in the bottom of the picture out of that corner. But the speed, this is Michael van Turen out's kind of course here. We know what he can do round this park cross in Maldachem. We know that Van der Putter can perhaps take a back maybe half to a full second over those planks, but he's got to be a little bit closer to be able to get onto the wheel off the back of those. Just not far to go now. Can he get back in here? That is a big gap on this final lap, given the speed that you can see. He's a bit hanging that left foot out just to counterbalance his body weight. Was setting up for the planks. One, two from Van Turen out and he's a bit. Van der Putter, look at the momentum and the speed that he carries over the top of this one. Everyone is right on the limit. They are seeing stars out here. Van der Putter closes it down slightly, but is it running out of track? They've got this hairpin turn, and then they're up into that very, very tricky sand section. A couple of small climbs around the roundabout, as you called it, but is a bit going now, and then it'll be the final up and down onto the finishing straight. Looks like Van der Putter just running out of legs. He is in a world of pain and suffering in third spot, as you can imagine. But the Belgian champion here attacking into the sand.
You've got to ride it like a speedboat. He's a bit exits with about five meters over his teammate. It kicks it over there, down round the roundabout and back up over the bank. And then it will just be two turns. And that short finish straight. Van der Putter trying to close up here to Van Turen now, just ahead of him. But Ailey Isabel, it looks like the day is going to belong to him. Out of the saddle, the Belgian champ comes home in front of the home crowd to take his second career victory here in Malbachem. Uh, Van Turen out takes second, Van der Putter third, Van der Haar fourth for Bauwaza Trek Lions. What a day out for Van der Haar.